talking about Apple, guys. Uh, two stocks that we're watching this morning. Um, well, they are both about to split Apple and Tesla. You can look at those shares this morning. We're just talking about the Morgan Stanley analyst uh, out with his uh, new price target. For more on the markets, we're joined by Stephanie Link, a Hightower Chief Investment Strategist and Portfolio Manager, and of course, a CNBC contributor. Stephanie, uh, you look at both of these companies. I, I don't know. I mean, they've already moved. They've already moved on the on the split. <laughs> Is there a reason for them to move more? And, and by the way, as you know, we we always debate whether they even should be moving. I know, I know, and and I, I don't really understand the Tesla move other than to say that people like the product. It's an ESG play. They believe in the company. And so it's taken off, obviously. Um, Apple, I kind of understand. And I think Katie Huber Huberty had a really good note out today. I mean, I know she only went to 520. Her prior target, by the way, was 431. But I thought she made a really good point by saying the last four quarters, revenue grow, re revenues only grew four, uh, 6%. Earnings grew 12 percent. Free cash flow grew 24 percent, all in the face of the iPhone actually being down 1 percent. So it speaks to the stickiness of the customer base. It also speaks to the, eco the ecosystem that we talk about all the time um, in terms of products and services. And so, yeah, it really should be maybe compared more to a consumer products company. And if you do that, it's trading at 25 times EV to free cash flow. And that's a 10 percent discount to the consumer products company. So you can make a case um, that that the fundamentals really do matter here. I think less so on Tesla, quite frankly, because I think there's still a lot of question marks on whether or not they can produce the amount that they talk about in terms of the electronic uh, vehicles. <clears throat> OK, so Stephanie, different question. All morning we've been talking about the possibility of some kind of great rotation if and when we get this vaccine. And my question is how binary that rotation is. Insofar as do you think money comes out of the apples of the world, meaning that stock actually loses yeah. some steam or an Amazon or a Netflix? Or do you think that they maintain and more money just comes in from the outside into some of these cyclicals that have been otherwise unloved? Yeah, well, I mean, there's five trillion dollars in cash on the sidelines, right, in money markets. Right. So it could come from there. I think you could see a bit of a rotation, maybe in some of the high flyers. Um, but actually, I would say maybe not so much Apple, because that's a 5G play. That's a reopen play, right? So I think Apple kind of can hold its own in that environment. Um, but I think you want to still have exposure, uh, Andrew, to secular growth tech, because they really do have these, these amazing total addressable markets and this amazing growth potential. And I think that has only been helped by the fact that we're stay at home, work from home, and we're never probably going back 100 percent right. to where we were. So I think there are winners in tech. But I also do think that if you get, if you get a better, if you get a vaccine, right. then you get a better growth in the economy, then you get better profits. Oh, certainly, I think you could see a vicious rotation, uh, right. because I think if you look at energy, industrials, and financials, they're still all down on the year. And uh, I think they're very very right. under-owned at this okay. point. So um, I, I think okay. you're going to say, I think it will be binary. Absolutely. Right.